I am Dr. Manoharan, consultant nephrologist working in Columbasia Hospital. The pre-renal is definitely, I think, any amount of uh, renal perfusion which is reduced to the kidneys can cause to some extent the temporary kidney damage. We call it AK high, that is acute kidney injury and which is basically can happen in the presence of dehydration. Sometimes if you have a severe bleeding anywhere in the body or hypotension which is causing that, this causes indirectly the hypoperfusion of the kidney and this can damage that and once we can rectify this problem and definitely this kidney function can improve to a normal some extent. I think most of the people, I think they recover most of the times, nearly 80% of people. The post renal kidney disease, it can happen to any sorts of like obstruction or a kidney stones or a cancer to one of those either a ureter or a TCC of a bladder. All this can obstruct the urine flow from the kidney where it can cause a post renal kidney disease. So this post renal kidney disease definitely we have to intervene and remove this cause to make the kidneys uh, function as well as the urine to flow properly. Even some of those causes like BPH or prostate cancers in elderly is most common cause of post renal uh, kidney disease. So basically we should uh, check all this the post renal issues and definitely I think once we take care of that obstruction and the kidneys are a good chances of improving. Uremic syndrome, when we say uremic syndrome, the presence of toxins in the body can cause to some extent the symptoms for the patients. Basically, they can have either breathlessness or vomiting and or sometimes they may have a seizures or go into a uh, coma. And it's a complex disorder where I think all this toxin combined together to cause this. We cannot say particularly which toxin causes this because people only are aware about the creatinine. Creatinine is a kidney function but that per se does not cause. There are several toxins in the body once the kidney fails can affect other organs too. And this organs once they affect is called a uremic syndrome.